Welcome to Excel with Mark and what we're going to be looking at today is how we can get all of our data from our different coffee shops that we can see here across these different sheets into one place and we can filter across these different sheets really easily and we want to be able to filter by what we have over here as our main drinks. So we're going to start out really easily and we're going to go through each of the different sheets that we have and we can see that these sheets up here have tiles already and what we need to be doing up here is pressing Control and T and we're going to insert a table for each of them and we want to make sure that our tables have headers so we can press OK and we can see that we've now made a table so we'll just type in the name of a table here so we'll call this one lower and by changing the name of this it's going to make this easy to reference back to in a little bit and we can move on to this next one so we'll go Control and A select all the data Control and T and we want to make that a table too. And again, we're going to select the data. So we can put in hells there. And that will now reference that whole table if we were to type that in. And then Astoria. So once again, we can just click in it. Control and A, Control and T. And make that there work. So it comes into a table. And we can go and put Astoria there. And press enter again and now what we've done is we've made each of these their own little tables and we have the names for them so we now want to bring all of our data together so how do we do that well what we have is this great little function called vstack so with the vstack then we now have the ability to type in the lower and we can see that it brings up our table here so we can use the lower as array one hells as array two and now when we come on to array three we want a story here we go and we can close the brackets press enter and we can see now that because we've already formatted all of our data as table and everything's nice and neat within them tables that it brings everything into one place so we have all of our lower manhattan sales here and if we work down do 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 there we go, lots and lots of data. We can see that it moves into Hell's Kitchen and so on. So you can see there's lots of data there that we've added up within one place, but it's, it's a lot of different things. And now the question would be, how do we now start to break this down so that we only see the specific things that we want to do within this data? So what we can do for this then is we can click up here and we're going to put this V stack within the filter function. Okay, and what we're going to do is it then asks us for the array, array. So we know that we've already got our array here because we've already brought everything into it. And now it's asking us what to include. So when we want to include it, we want to do the vstack because we want to be bringing in the data again. And we want within this, we want the lower um, for the first part. So we can press the lower there. But then we're going to press the brackets for this one because it wants to know what category we want to be looking at as we're bringing this data in. So we know that we want to be looking at the product, product category. So we can put in product category there and press that there. And by pressing that square bracket, now we are only referring to the product category column that we want within that. So the next part that we want to do is we want to work on the hells. So again, we'll press hells, we'll do open square bracket, we'll go product category, close square brackets, and then we want the open outside of the comma and the array, and now we want Astoria, do, do, do. Um, where I can spell it right, there we go, Astoria, square bracket, product category, and then we want to close that there. Okay, so once we've done that, we can close off of the V stack there, and we want to know if that is equal to coffee. So once we know that they work and they're going up to be one there, we can then close the brackets and press enter. And we can see now that it's filtered out all of our data across all the different sheets. So we've got all the lower Manhattans for coffees there. And if we work down, we can see we've got all the Astoria coffees. Okay, and because we've set this here, we can change this so we can go Bakery. And again, it's going to move all of our data across so we get all the lower Manhattan stuff. We can move down. Da, da, da. There we go. We can see we get all the Hell's Kitchen and now we get all the Astoria stuff at the bottom. So 
that's a great way that you can, you know, link all your different sheets together, making sure that you can filter across all of them. And if there's anything that you need is to do within specific data, then it'll make it easier for you to be able to work through this as everything comes into one place and works really well throughout this. So if you have any questions about this or the formula itself, um, obviously it's quite a long one with different things going on. So if you've got any questions at all, don't forget to ask them and I'll hopefully see you again soon in the next one.